Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to check on my worm bin and see how my little composting friends are doing. Maintaining a worm bin is a fantastic way to reduce waste and create nutrient-rich compost for your garden. Let's dive in and see what's happening inside. First, let's carefully climb into the bin. You want to be gentle so you don't disturb the worms too much. As you can see, there's a nice layer of bedding on top. This helps to keep moisture in and provide a comfortable environment for the worms. I like to use shredded leaves and food waste as bedding. It's important to have a good balance of brown materials like these and green materials, which are your kitchen scraps. One of the first things to check is the moisture level. It should feel like a wrung out sponge. If it's too dry, you can add a little water. If it's too wet, you might need to add some dry bedding material like shredded cardboard. Looks like the moisture level is just right. Proper moisture is crucial because worms breathe through their skin and it needs to be moist to do so. Now let's take a look at the worms themselves. They should be active and wiggling. Healthy worms are a sign that the bin is doing well. Here they are, looking happy and healthy. If you notice any worms trying to escape or if they seem sluggish, it could be a sign of trouble. Make sure the bin is not too hot, cold, dry, or wet. Next, let's check how the compost is coming along. Finished compost or worm castings should be dark and crumbly. If there are still recognizable food scraps, it means the worms need more time to break them down. This compost looks great. It's almost ready to use in the garden. When your bin starts to get full, you can harvest the compost by pushing it all to one side and adding fresh bedding and food to the empty side. The worms will migrate over, making it easier to collect the finished compost. I'm not going to add any new food for the worms this time, as they have plenty. Remember to only add small amounts at a time and bury it in the bedding to prevent odors and pests. Normally, I add some food scraps and coffee grounds. These are perfect for the worms. Avoid adding meat, dairy, and oily foods as they can cause odors and attract pests. Always chop or blend your food scraps to make it easier for the worms to digest. It's also important to monitor the temperature and pH levels of your worm bin. Worms thrive in temperatures between 55 and 77 degrees. If it gets too hot or cold, your worms could suffer. The pH level should be neutral, around 7. If the bin becomes too acidic, you can add crushed eggshells or a bit of garden lime to balance it out. Sometimes things can go wrong, but don't worry. If you see a lot of fruit flies, try burying the food deeper and adding a layer of bedding on top. If there's a foul odor, it might mean you've added too much food or the bin is too wet. Adjusting the balance of green and brown materials usually helps. And that's it for today's check-in. Maintaining a worm bin is simple and rewarding. If you have any questions or tips about vermicomposting, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more eco-friendly tips and tricks. Happy composting! See you next time!